Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to share some of the newer beauty products that I've been testing out and I'm just starting to get used to using. Some of it is makeup, some of it's skincare, and there's even a little bit of hair care. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm constantly trying out lots of new beauty products. Sometimes what I'm referring to as new are products that have been out on the market, but they're new to me. There are also just constantly new beauty brands and new products that brands are launching and stuff that I'm always trying out. And there's always this like initial phase where I start to test out the products and then they eventually move into a permanent place in my skincare or hair care or makeup routine. So I've shared videos before where I show beauty products that I'm kind of starting to test out and I'm liking and that are almost there and I kind of share the process of what I'm liking about these products so I thought I'd do that today. So the first product I'm gonna share is from our sponsor, Manyo. They are a Korean brand and they just launched recently in the United States. So I'm really excited that I get to try out some of their products. This is their pure cleansing oil. And of course I had to try it. It was like the first thing I had to try because apparently this is the number one best-selling cleansing oil in all of Korea. We know Korea has high standards for the double cleanse. It's how I learned how to double cleanse. It's from, you know, like Korean methods. And if this is the number one selling one, then I, absolutely had to try this because this brand just recently launched here in the United States. So it's very exciting for me. Not to mention this cleansing oil is only $29, which I think is a great affordable price for this. It has a blend of 14 different plant-based oils and they're all really nice and luxurious. There are lots of different nutrients in here. There are also some soothing ingredients in here and some exfoliating enzymes. So altogether it works really well to not only break down all of your makeup as a first cleanse, but you've also probably heard me talk about this Oils that are rich in linoleic acid, which this product does have, are also really great as an occasional treatment for your skin. You can really spend some time massaging your cleansed skin and it'll really help to loosen up any debris and gunk in your pores. So if you have you know, acne, clogged pores, blackheads, whiteheads, anything like that, this is actually a really good way to help to just unclog your pores. One of the other things I like about this is that it feels really nice and luxurious. When you pump it into your hand, you can feel it's like a really nice thick kind of texture texture to it and you know like some cleansing oils are really like thin they're you know they like don't feel very luxurious and they don't really melt down well on your skin when you apply them and start to massage them this is like a massage oil it feels so luxurious when you put it onto your skin everything starts to melt down immediately and it emulsifies really beautifully and it rinses beautifully. Also, another test for me is how it feels around my eyes. There is no stinging around the eyes. It did not make my eyes feel blurry. Of course, that's very personal for a lot of people, but for me, it was perfect. It really does a great job as a first cleanse. I've been trying a lot of different products from Manyo because they sent me their entire collection, but I also wanna give a little honorable mention to this one. This is the Bifida Biome Complex Ampule. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because the ingredient list is really impressive. They really focus on the probiotics that they have in here. There are five types of probiotics, but they really focus on Bifida in here, which is a bacteria that's very good for your skin. If you don't know what probiotics do for your skin, they essentially help to strengthen your skin barrier. So I'm always talking about about you know, replacing all the different lipids in your skin, like ceramides and stuff to really help to strengthen your skin barrier. But the more I learn about fermented ingredients and probiotics for your skin, the more I learn that probiotics are great to help strengthen that skin barrier. And strengthening your skin barrier is kind of key to just good skin in general. A lot of people ask me what the difference is between an ampule and like a serum or an essence is. And essentially an ampule is a more concentrated version of like a serum or an essence. So you're just getting, you know, like a supercharged version of a serum. That's kind of how I like to think of it because it's just jammed with really great ingredients. This has apparently like 10 different versions of hyaluronic acid in here. So it's really hydrating for your skin. But I'm also just impressed with all the other ingredients that they have in here. I mean, they have things like niacinamide in here, which you know I love. And it's also obviously very popular in Korean skincare. There's also even caffeine. So it helps to just make your skin look like it's de-puffed and smoother and beautiful. So it's got this really beautiful blend of ingredients in here that just make your skin look firm and plump and super hydrated. So if you're interested in a newer Korean brand here in the United States, I'm telling you, this is a really cool brand. You should definitely check it out. And if there's any product, it's between that cleansing oil or this one or both of them, if you can do it. 
All right, so of course I'm gonna have sunscreen in this video because I get new sunscreens on a weekly basis. I'm telling you, I actually think I, I'm getting to the point now where I have too many sunscreens, but then it feels like you can never have too many. So the one I'm trying lately and that I'm loving the most out of all of my newer sunscreens is this one from Apostrophe. This is their screen. This is made for all skin types, including acne prone skin. It's a hybrid sunscreen, which I always tend to love because you get a lot of true broad spectrum benefits from it, but it doesn't leave you away cast or it tends to not leave you a white cast. So this one's really nice. It's got zinc oxide, octanoxate, and octosalate in it. It also has just really nice nourishing ingredients in it. There's hyaluronic acid, there's elantuin, there's some panthenol. So it just feels really good. It's SPF 43, it's fragrance free. So I feel like this is just an all around home run sunscreen. It looks really nice and glowy on the skin too. For some people you can use it as your moisturizer slash your sunscreen. So you can skip an entire step by using this and it's only $27. The other sunscreen that I have just started using and I'm really liking is by Zitstika. This is their Mega Shade Sunscreen Serum. This is also broad spectrum. It's SPF 50, which is the number that I'm usually going for. Like anything over SPF 30 is like all bonus and just so much better for your skin when it comes to sun protection. But SPF 50 tends to be like that magic number for me. This also is a hybrid sunscreen. So, you know, there's probably, you'll see like a little trend there. I really do like hybrid sunscreens. This one's a little bit pricier than the apostrophe version, but this is also a very interesting sunscreen because I wish that brands would make them so that they like seamlessly incorporate into your skincare routine. Like I think sunscreen would be used more regularly if it really felt like a skincare step instead of like putting on this almost like a mask on your face. Of course, people don't wanna wear their, their sunscreen regularly if it doesn't feel comfortable and doesn't feel like a normal part of their routine. There are just such nice skincare ingredients in here in general. You know, it can be really confusing when you hear the name serum. I think a lot of people think that it should go on as a serum step. A reminder, sunscreen goes on as the last step in your skincare routine. They call it a serum because of the texture of it. You can see it's this like really nice liquidy texture. It does not leave a white cast. It's very nice and soothing on your skin, even though it feels nice and thin and light. It has ceramides in it, niacinamide in it, colloidal oatmeal, peptides. Like there are just so many nice ingredients in here. Zitstika to me is also a brand that really focuses on people that deal with acne issues. So I feel like they really took that into account as well when they were formulating this product. Again, it's got that serum feel and it's also very soothing for the skin, even for sensitive skin. So they're really taking into account all the people who are on all these like strong prescriptions and products and stuff that can really make your skin feel sensitive and stuff. So this one is really nice on the skin. I find that I still need a separate moisturizer underneath it, but I have dry skin. But for some people, you might feel like this is also moisturizing enough. Another new beauty product that I've been trying out and really liking so far is this one from Ilia. It's called the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. And I am not a volumizing mascara girl, but I have been very impressed by this one. If you don't know, Ilia makes actually one of my all-time favorite mascaras. It's a whole different formulation and it's really because I love the brush. This also has a really special brush on it because it's kind of like an hourglass shape. It's very similar to, you know, like Too Faced has that better than sex brush. It's very similar in the thought, but I feel like this one's a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner and easier to use. The reason why I'm not like a volumizing mascara girl is because for my eyelashes and my eye shape, Shape. It can really cause smudging all over the place and stuff, but this one is really good. I find that the formula goes on really smooth. It does not make my lashes look like they're clumpy. The color is really nice and black, so it makes your eyelashes stand out. And also during the day, as you're wearing this mascara, it does not smudge, it does not flake or anything like that. Like it does not end up in your eyes later on in the day, which is a problem that I have. I also find sometimes that mascaras will get like all over the place on me here because I, you know, I love such like glowy skincare and makeup and stuff. So that can really make certain mascaras spread. This one does not do that. So it's really held up during the daytime. Even when I'm like on camera and stuff, I have really enjoyed this mascara. All right, another skincare product, but one that I'm using more so for my body is this one from Skin Fix. This is their Resurface Plus AHA slash BHA enzyme exfoliating pads. These are meant to be for the face or for the body, but I am finding that I use them on my body a lot. I have been talking about how I've been like self tanning more and using all these different sunless tanners just all over my body, on my face, everywhere. And I'm finding that I'm exfoliating my body a lot more too. And these have been really handy. This is actually my second 
giant jar from them. This was sent to me through PR and I'm really grateful for that because they are $50, which is something that I do wanna point out, but they come in these pre-soaked pads that have a little bit of like a texture to them. There is salicylic acid in here, there is glycolic acid in here, and there's also niacinamide which of course you're gonna grab my attention when you have a combination like that. You know, they're just really great, effective ingredients. It's not even like it's this like product that's so innovative. It's just a very necessary product that I'm surprised we don't see a lot more of on the market. There are some other brands that have these kinds of like peel pads, but this one's great because they're nice and large. They feel really good on the skin. They don't feel like they're stripping on the skin either. And when you have some smudged sunless tanner, that you like that streaky look. These are really key because you just, you know, like take this little pad and you kind of rub it over that area. Don't be rough. And the more you use it, you can like really quickly get rid of that smudged look with your sunless tanner. So they're really key for people that use a lot of sunless tanner like I do, but they're also just great. Like if you have KP on the back of your arms, if you want to, you know, reduce any kinds of ingrown hairs and stuff, these are really great because you can really target those areas that you want to focus on. Next up is this eye cream from True Botanicals. This is the Resurrection Radiance eye cream. And this stuff is amazing. It has turmeric in it. So it has this like yellowish kind of tint to it. And I love the way it makes my under eyes look. I use this almost every single day now underneath my makeup. And it just gives me this beautiful kind of look to my under eyes. This is one of those products where you see like an immediate difference with your under eye area just because it has that pigment to it. I have so many different eye creams that are supposed to be like brightening for the under eye area and stuff. And I feel like this one really actually does that. It gives you that immediate brightness to your eyes. It also just happens happens to have some really great ingredients like coffee seed extract in here, which is great for your under eye area to help depuff at least temporarily. We all know that caffeine is just great for that. It also has Camellia sinensis in here, which is just really soothing for the skin and great for the under eye area. There's licorice root extract, again, really great for the under eye area. It's very soothing for the skin. It helps with that like hyperpigmentation and stuff that you might have under your eyes. And then there's apparently this tree bark extract in here that is also just really great for depuffing your eye area. I have been using this so much more than I expected. Like at this point, even though it's newer to me, I could actually confidently say that this has become a regular part of my skincare routine just because I like it so much, which is really surprising to me because I hop from different eye creams all the time just because I'm constantly trying them out underneath my makeup. This one really stands out to me. And that says a lot because this is also $78 and I don't really think that you have to spend $78 to find a nice eye cream but this one really is very nice. I'd say that the only note I have about this is that it doesn't spread as easily as some eye creams. It's like so thick that you have to almost like pat it onto your under eye area. But besides that, like once it's absorbed, it's really great. It's beautiful under eye makeup. I have it on right now underneath this makeup and I've got like full beat going and it's really nice and smooth and beautiful. Like I said, you'll see that immediate like glow to your eye area because of that yellow pigment that it has. All right, so I am not always the kind of person to talk about eyeshadow palettes. I think there are so many eyeshadow palettes on the market. It's like, take your pick, but I have to talk about this one. This is from Buxom. This is their collaboration with Ash K. Home, who is a celebrity makeup artist. This has some of the most beautiful colors ever. Like they are beautifully pigmented. I'm actually gonna turn it around so you can focus on this area right here because this is actually the area. I could probably take this much of the palette and I would be so, so happy. I'm not necessarily like a purple eyeshadow kind of girl, but these colors up here for like the basic in me, when I wanna step it up, these are the colors that I would actually gravitate to and I have been using them. I've got it on my eyes right now. Some of these colors like the orange and like unfiltered has this like undertone of like an orange yellow color. Teddy is this beautiful brown color that I don't really see too often in eyeshadow palettes. There are just some beautiful colors in here and they just blend well together. It's such a nice palette. I actually just bought one for one of my girlfriends for her birthday. I think I'm gonna buy myself an extra palette of this because I love it so 
so much. And since it's a collaboration, I don't know how limited edition it is or anything. I've never even like reached out to Buxom to ask them about this. I just love it so much that I highly recommend this. If you have like the like the dark hair with like the medium tone skin tone, it's like if you like the way Ash K Holm looks, then you're gonna love this eyeshadow palette because you know she's like so beautiful and I love a lot of her makeup looks. And this palette is really such a nice palette. This is probably my favorite palette in a very, very long time. Next up, I have to talk about this. It is from Bread. This is their hair cream. And the reason why I love this so much is because one, I just love this brand so much. I think that they just do a really great job with all of their marketing and like their branding and stuff. But I also just love their products. They smell so good. They make you wanna almost like eat them. One of the things that I was saying was I wish that there was like a hair cream when I first started using this brand. And ta-da! Apparently I wasn't the only one asking for one of these. So this is their hair cream. It is so nice. I mean, it has this beautiful moisturizing texture to it. This is a hair styling product. And when you have like wavy hair, curly hair, whatever, you want something that is a hybrid of like a hair styling cream, but also a moisturizing cream. And this truly is that perfect combination of that. They actually call it a multi-purpose styler meets treatment. It has a hydrolyzed quinoa protein in it, which is really great for strengthening and fortifying your hair. It also has mango seed butter in here, which really just makes it very conditioning for your hair as well. But what I really like about it is that it gives you this beautiful hold to your waves or to your curls, but it doesn't feel crunchy and it doesn't make your hair frizzy or anything like that. It just makes it look really beautiful and healthy and bouncy. All right, so the next product that I have recently added in and I really like it. I'm just not sure if my skin can tolerate it. And that is from Medicaid. This is the Crystal Retinol 6. I started with the Crystal Retinol 3 and loved it. I used the entire tube. If you don't know about this brand, they use encapsulated retinaldehyde. It's been around for a little bit now. I feel like people have been really talking about it over the last couple of years. It's essentially the next step before you get to like tretinoin to that prescription retinoid. So it's stronger than your typical retinol and you get it over the counter. So if you don't know, retinol has to go through a couple of conversions before it becomes as strong as tretinoin. And so while it's going through these conversions on your skin, it becomes more and more gentle. So it's the reason why a lot of people like myself can tolerate it even on a nightly basis for some people. Retinol is great for people like me who have a sensitivity to tretinoin, but we all know that tretinoin is the gold standard when it comes to your retinoids. Like if you can tolerate tretinoin, you are golden. Like you are going to have the most beautiful skin. You just have to go through this process of getting your skin used to it. And it can be a really long process. And for some people like me, it might be a process you'll never get to. Like I can tolerate true prescription tretinoin at like a really clinically effective percentage. I can only maybe tolerate it like once maybe twice a week, but then my skin just gets completely sensitive, super irritated. And I know a lot of people are like, just push through it and get your skin used to it. But I am 40 years old and I've been in the beauty industry for a very long time. And I'm telling you, I've tried everything to get my skin used to tretinoin and I just cannot tolerate too much of it. Like it's just too strong for me. So I've been really interested in retinaldehyde. I've been testing out a lot of products that have it in there. And like I said, I used the Crystal Retinol 3 from this brand and I loved it. I was able to use it like three, four times a week without any issues. So now I've graduated to the six version and I can tell you already, I tried to bump it to more than two times a week and my skin got really sensitive to it but it's still less sensitive than I get with tretinoin. So I'm gonna still try to really make my way through this because I want retinaldehyde to work so badly for my skin because it is such an awesome ingredient. All right, so speaking of retinol, another product I have been using and I've been really liking so far is by Replenix. This is their Retinol Smooth Plus Titan Body Lotion. I think this all the time, like why aren't there more body products that have retinol in them? Because just like we need retinol for our face, we need retinol for our body. I love the Josie Marin Bio Retinol Body Butter. It's like becoming a holy grail product for me. I love it. I just bought a new tub of it because it's so nice, but that's a plant-based alternative to retinol. So it's not a true retinol. Although I think it just makes my skin look really beautiful and glowy and just 
really nice. But I have been really interested in trying more retinol products for the body. If you don't know, I always use retinol products on my body, especially on like scars, stretch marks, anywhere that my skin feels really loose. I feel like our body, especially after like having two babies or when you go through any kind of like weight loss and stuff, if you have stretch marks, anything like that, I feel like your body is like where you really need all of this help. And we know that retinol or retinoids really in general are the ingredient that you need to be able to stimulate that skin cell turnover and really firm up your skin. So I was so excited when the brand sent this one to me because this is a retinol body lotion. It is a little bit pricey. It's like $89, but it might be worth it. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, this is 6.7 fluid ounces. So, you know, you are getting a lot of retinol in here. You know, if you think about it, like a lot of the retinol serums and creams that you buy tend to come in like a one ounce tube or something. So with this, you're getting 6.7 fluid ounces and it's also a really nice formula. It has ceramides in here. So they're really soothing for your skin barrier. There's caffeine. There are soothing ingredients in here. It just feels really nice. You can see the tube is like pretty new cause I only just got this, but it is a very interesting product to me. And it's something that I've been using in my nighttime body skincare routine recently. And then the final beauty product that I have been testing out, and I'm kind of still on the fence about it, but I definitely am giving it a very solid try. And that is this product from GHD. This is their unplugged cordless hair styler. You know, a lot of people just associate GHD with being like a flat iron, but you know, I feel like GHD is really good because they've created a kind of like a hair styler. That's what they call it, a styler. And that's because if you look at the barrel or or like the iron, I don't even know what you would refer to it as. It's flat here, so you can definitely use it as a straightener, but it's also rounded on the sides and you can really use it to create different waves and stuff. And I've been obsessed with like these loose kind of waves that all the hairstylists that I go to have like been creating in my hair with their flat irons and with their stylers like the GHD. So this one's really cool because it is cordless. That's what makes it really different. It's a little bit smaller than your typical styler as well. So it's really easy to travel with. It even comes with like a little case that you just kind of pop it into and you can really take it anywhere. I have been throwing it into my bag when I know that I'm gonna be like on set or something and I need to maybe touch up. I have not perfected styling my hair with it, like getting that wave. And I suspect after talking to a friend of mine that it might be because this is like smaller, so it's a little bit harder to create that waved look, but it's been really great so far for touch-ups. Like for me, I've got all these like baby hairs that are still growing, so I have to constantly smooth them out and stuff. If you want to like touch up a little wave, it's also great for that. But as far as being like my main styler, I'm not sure. It only lasts for 20 minutes also when it's fully charged. And if you've looked at all this hair that I have, 20 minutes doesn't really cut it as my main styler. So, so far, this has become more of like a touch-up styler for me. I know that Nikki, my makeup artist, has used it to actually like help style my hair and stuff. And she seems to really like it so far as well. So that says a lot because she knows her styling tools much more than I do. But so far I would say I'm not positive it's worth the money for something that's more for touch-ups for me. But I think it is a really interesting concept. I really love the cordless concept because sometimes in my bathroom when I'm doing my hair, I have like three different cords and I'm like even trying to like change out a cord. Like after I blow dry my hair, I then have to unplug it and put in my curling iron and my flat iron and stuff because I just have so much going on. So I really like the concept of being cordless and, and this one is a very nice sleek product. And I think to be fair to the brand too, it's also important that I point out that I have really hard to tame hair. Like it takes a lot of different tools to tame this hair. So this is a really nice product. And if you don't have coarse, thick, wavy hair, textured hair like I do, then you're going to love this. Like it's probably gonna be like a game changer for you. So I, I think that's also really important to point out. It's a really nice product. I just also have a lot that I'm working with. So those are some of the newer beauty products that I've been testing out. And I, you know, obviously some of them are probably gonna make it into my main routine. If you haven't tried out Manyo yet, definitely give them a try, take a look. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can, you know, check out the cleansing oil and even the ampule that I was talking about. They're both really great products, but they also just have a full collection of products for all different skin types. So definitely check them out. I'll leave a link to both of the products that I mentioned, along with all of the other products that I have talked about in this video. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below and you can find me on Instagram at Susan Yara and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.